So I'm looking in the viewfinder and I look really yellow. I wonder if it's the light. I do not have a liver disease. <laughs> super windy outside so we're having to improvise inside and um, I apologize that it's not as fun a video as it could be. Before we launch into the real part of today's vlog I first want to say how lucky are we in today's world to have such choice but also unlucky and that we can lose so much of our life by consuming and not just living. Barefoot is best however it's just not practical or uh, possible to be barefoot all the time, at least not if you're me. <laughs> but the shoe question is really difficult. In my perfect world, I'd have one pair of shoes. Once upon a time, people had basically one pair of shoes. In many parts of the world, people have no pair of shoes. So this whole shoe thing that we've got going on, which by the way, I didn't show you all of mine because I'm still embarrassed, is that it's an idea we believe we have, but the truth is, is most of humanity lived either with no shoes or one pair of shoes. But there's a couple things that we want to talk about. One is the shoe, the foot is designed to be barefoot and not in a shoe. Um, things like heat, cold, snow, mud, rain, hail, that kind of stuff makes me want to put shoes on. Oh, and my personal favorite, snakes. Can you see it? So we're looking at shoes for a couple things. One, we're talking about survival. So my theory is, is that uh, if things go bad, you're going to be walking away and you're going to be only able to take one or two shoes. So have a good pair of shoes that will take you through almost every circumstance. So these are my number one survival shoes that I picked and for a lot of reasons. One, they're actually mining shoes. So it's reinforced here, reinforced there, steel toe, toe through or steel plate, um, heat resistant, shock resistant, leather, all waterproof, and um, they're cute, which I know isn't a, a requirement for survival shoes, but I liked them. Now the negatives are this nightmare situation of having to lace them up. Um, they get really dirty. Can you see that? All the dirt in there. <laughs> The second thing is simplicity and that's one of my personal goals as you know so um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do about that I don't have any answers less is more now these I get on and off I like the sheepskin especially in the winter time to keep my feet warm I do not wear these outside so that they will last um, but in the winter time it's nice to have some real warm things on your feet so as we talk today about our feet and the shoes we put them in I also want to say go outside play run walk have an adventure explore use your feet and the shoes you put them in to go and then be more which brings me to strong so shoes can inhibit your ability to have strong feet uh, you want the kind of shoe that will optimize function but also keep you as strong as you can barefoot if, as if you were walking barefoot so foot strength is so essential to overall functional fitness and health oh, especially survival if you want to last very long out there so this is why a regular hiking boot sucks so 
When you have any kind of cloth, it tears, it cracks, it comes unsewed, it comes unglued, it falls apart. So even though this is a good shoe, it's North Face, it's not a good long-term survival shoe because they fall apart. So the other huge issue are the shoelaces, which is the same problem with the big boots, but I think you can use paracord to replace those if you need to. So that's what I don't like about traditional hiking shoes. Because at the end of the day and the end of your life, you're not gonna care about your shoes. I can promise you this. But you will care about what your feet and your shoes let you go and do in this world so that you could be more in this world. So I don't have any perfect answers about shoes in my, in what I've learned over my many fabulous years living this way is protection. Because if your feet go bad and you're trying to walk around or keep a job or, you know, go get food for your family, you need your feet to work. When your feet stop working, you are in trouble. Now these I got as actual snake boots. So they're up, they're 16 inches, but they fell apart within a year. If a snake comes up and it bites, ouch! Technically it won't go through this. Leather is good. I don't know um, if some leathers will give. They'll actually, they can bite onto your pants and then they get stuck. So it's better to put your boots, your pants inside your boots than to wear them on the outside. Or, oh, and I forgot to say, good time for three breaths. Whatever road you take, whatever journey you are on, what we all have in common is walking towards it, one step at a time. These are just plain old rubber boots. As you can see, they've become my rain and my mud boots. And while I would suggest a good pair of muck boots, these are like city ones and they busted the first year. So, so that is our short discussion, which got longer as usual than I would like it to, on shoes for survival, simplicity, being out in the world or society, and how to keep your feet strong or when your hands don't work. Now, what I found to be super helpful is just a cheap pair of clogs. Um, as you can see, this one has already worn through on the bottom. But going in and out of the house, one of the ways I keep the house clean is to take my shoes off. But the problem is, is as you saw with the other ones, it's a pain in the butt. So uh, just a cheap pair of clogs to get in and out as you go run outside and do really quick things is a good idea. So with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.